Hey everybody, today we're going to be talking about torque testing and specifically torque testing of impact wrenches. That could be cordless impacts like this, pneumatic versions, or even corded models, but testing them will be exactly the same no matter what version you're using. And what we'll typically use is the bench-mounted Skidmore Wilhelm, or the one mounted over in the shop press. I can measure forward and reverse torque with these, and the number that we normally come up with is reverse or forward working torque. That's after 15 seconds of runtime, and that is the maximum amount that any of these could ever achieve. However, it does not show you exactly what the dynamic torque or instantaneous torque ratings are. And with that, you would need something like this, which is a digital torque meter made by Skidmore Wilhelm, and it's a Model T3000. We just picked up one of these, and you'll see it in my upcoming videos for impact wrenches, but I wanted to make this video ahead of time so you'll understand exactly what it is and what it does. Now the unique thing about a digital torque meter, because you can see an instantaneous torque reading, you can see exactly how much torque is being applied with each impact. So you could have two impact wrenches that look almost identical side by side, but one could be hitting a lot harder than the other one, even though after 15 seconds of runtime on the standard Skidmore Wilhelm, they might have almost identical readings. If we see the instantaneous torque rating along with the working torque rating, and then you make your comparisons based on that, you'll have a lot better idea as to which impact is going to have more power. The T3000 consists of two different parts. We have the electronic unit up top with the screen and the dial, and this is mounted separately from the bench mount unit that's bolted to the steel workbench. There's a wire connecting the two, and if you notice the end right here does not accept a socket. However, it does have a half inch square drive. That's a special adapter that will allow you to take a half inch impact wrench, plug it directly into that, and because you don't have a socket, it's not going to wear out, and it also doesn't have any torque loss because of that. This is going to give an instantaneous reading to the top unit when we pull it on the trigger, and it can measure forward as well as reverse torque. And the good thing about this particular meter, it's going to show you the maximum torque that is being applied with each impact. You'll see a peak level, and that's going to be noted with a plus or a minus sign, followed by three digits, and it can measure up to 1,000 foot-pounds of instantaneous torque. So to show you firsthand exactly what dynamic torque is, and to show you how much lower it is than the working torque achieved after 15 seconds of runtime, here's the DeWalt DCF-899. Now this is more powerful than the Milwaukee. It's coming in at just over a thousand foot-pounds of working torque in reverse as far as after 15 seconds on the standard Skidmore. This is a five amp hour battery pack it is going to be fully charged, and that means that it's going to have maximum power. What we're going to look at is the actual dynamic torque with the T3000. We'll try it in forward and reverse. Now what it's going to do is achieve that maximum torque with each impact. This is going to record our maximum amount of torque as far as the dynamic torque, not the working torque, so the number will be much lower. So where this could achieve the 1,000 plus foot-pounds on the standard Skidmore, this is going to show you exactly how hard it's going to hit on the electronic unit. So starting out, we're going to try forward torque. You'll see a plus sign next to the three digits, and this is going to show you what the instantaneous torque being applied with each impact is. So each impact that you hear was achieving 411 foot-pounds of torque. And if we zero that out again and put it in reverse, we can see what the reverse torque rating is. And it's coming in with a maximum of 418 foot-pounds in reverse. When we compare that to the 1,000 plus foot-pounds that it achieved with working torque after 15 seconds, you can see exactly how hard it's going to hit with each impact. And if we take a look at that versus one of the competitors, you'll quickly see which one is more powerful. So that should give you a real good idea as to how the digital torque meter, the Model T3000, actually works. Now this can do other things other than just measure the dynamic torque. It can also measure impacts per minute 
and it can measure static torque ratings. That means that this same machine can measure a standard torque wrench. It can measure a click type, a micrometer type, a dial type, or an electronic torque wrench. It will show you exactly what the torque being applied is. So when we test torque wrenches in the future, let's say I put 50 foot pounds on the dial. When I click at 50, we can see exactly how much torque is being applied. That's gonna allow us to verify the accuracy of very expensive torque wrenches and very cheap torque wrenches, and there might not be a big difference between them. So we're gonna find out firsthand, but as far as future impact wrench videos, I wanted to show you ahead of time exactly what this is and what it does, because it's gonna save me from having to explain this over and over again. Now keep in mind the numbers that you'll see with the digital torque meter are going to be much lower because it's measuring that instantaneous or dynamic torque being applied with each impact. Where the standard bench mount or beam mount units are measuring working torque over 15 seconds of runtime. So if we only hammered on it for 5 seconds on this unit, it would be much lower than the 15 second mark where the digital torque meter is not going to change and it's measuring what the peak torque level was at each impact. And as you can see firsthand with the DeWalt, on this unit it would come in at over a thousand foot-pounds of working torque, where the digital torque meter is coming in at just over 400 foot-pounds. So when we compare that to other units in the future, you'll be able to make the best decision as to which one's right for you. If you like this video, please click like. If you like my channel, please click subscribe. And thanks for watching.